Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Allie Hennard. And I'm Gene Burke. After nearly a year of construction, an underground section of trail at Mammoth Cave National Park will reopen soon, offering dramatic views of some of the park's most captivating rock formations. WBK reporter Derek Parham followed guides into the cave today to bring us our top story at 5. Even in the best conditions, trail construction can be complicated work. In remote locations with limited access to resources, these projects typically take a skilled hand. But over 200 feet underground in confined spaces, those challenges are amplified. I like doing unique projects and I've done them all over the country, but uh, I'd say by far this is the, the favorite. This environment, I, we've never worked anything in anywhere like it, so we really enjoy it. Reconstructing a trail originally built in the 1920s meant carrying equipment and hundreds of pounds of materials at a time through the cave system, with crews at times walking the equivalent of a marathon on a daily basis. So this section of the trail was a little over three quarters of a mile. Um, the total weight and quantity of materials brought in was approximately one and a half million pounds. Um, as I alluded to earlier, everything was brought in and carried in by hand. Um, no machines inside the cave. McGarry and his team worked tirelessly over the last year, mixing concrete, installing railings and floors, and in some areas, completely reconstructing unsafe trails. It was packed dirt that we sometimes say you take two steps forward and you slide back one. It was difficult to traverse. There were handrails that had been rusted and they were worn. Steps were uneven and there were areas where people could wander off the trail and really expand the footprint down there. So it was it was just needed some cleaning up. It needed some hardening and new handrails and more even steps. It helps the safety as well as the visitor experience. With funding through the Great American Outdoors Act, the latest trail improvement along the Domes and Dripstones tour route isn't the first rehab project, and it won't be the last. So we started doing this many years ago, looking at different parts of the trail. We've done the historic section. We did another section in this area, about two miles, and now this is the latest section to be completed for rehabilitation. Now that its restoration is complete, the trail offers never-before-seen views of some of the park's most dramatic rock formations. Reporting in Mammoth Cave, Derek Parham, WBKO News. Cave tour guides are undergoing training for the trail now and expect to see tours begin again in early October.